hello cozy friends welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new my name is bugs and today we are back on my autumn town core island shy for today's video we are going to be doing a very chill let's play and i also over on my instagram asked you guys to ask me some questions that you may or may not want to know the answers to so while we're playing i'm also going to answer some of those i have been really struggling with the last few sections of this island so today i'm gonna keep it really simple um a friend of mine one of my partners actually on instagram lore's crossing does these really great beach builds and i keep seeing them on instagram and they've been really inspiring me to work on my beaches so i'm actually going to be working on some of those today and i'm hoping it just kind of cures this bit of burnout and just lack of creativity that i've been feeling these past few days um so if that's something that you are interested in seeing please keep on watching. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe and give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. And let's go. So first things first, we can take a look at my map. Um, as you can see, the top right of the island is just kind of <laughs> all over the place right now. Basically the left side is for the most part done except for the very top left. So I've made some changes to the bottom right where we originally built the um, kind of chess board area. I just felt like it didn't connect to the town core theme really. So I did change that to an apartment complex with my house. And I also put what is right now Lily's house, but it is going to be Fauna's house. And I think we're going to incorporate her house into one of the beach builds as well. Um, and so yeah, that's what my map is looking like. I have some ideas for the rest of the island, like that top right section. But I just keep going back and forth on placement and what I think is going to work out better. I don't really know. It's making me angry to look at it. So we're just not going to focus on that today. What we are going to focus on today is first this area over here by the library that I was showing you all the other day when I did Ketchup's house and tomato farm build. Um, I've already got a small build on this beach to the right. It's just a little volleyball, a beach volleyball court that's just really overgrown. And the idea for this area is kind of like a little beach reading area like you can come out from the library um, if you don't want to be inside and come enjoy the beach weather um, this area is also just going to be very overgrown but with a couple of different picnic spots um, and really just getting some use out of some of my blanket codes that i haven't really used so i'm excited for this starting off i'm just doing my pathing really randomly um, I, I've noticed a lot of people in their let's plays don't typically start with their pathing, but I really like that. Um, so that's what we're doing. I'm just laying those stones really randomly and I'm going to go ahead and start with the first question, which was, how did I get into Animal Crossing? So long story short, my fiance, um, was really excited about New Horizons coming out. I can't really remember if he played it when the older games were out or not, but he got the game and got the got a Switch and everything when the Switch was super popular and like it just come out. And I immediately was drawn to the game when I was watching him play and quickly took over. I thought he was super dorky. <laughs> at first and I was just like this is so lame um, and then I started playing and it was just so much fun and he kind of like lost interest in it pretty quickly and I just kept playing um, I kind of decorated that whole first island that he had started um, and then eventually started watching Animal Crossing content on YouTube and kind of learning how to actually design and stuff like that um, and just from like continuing to watch those kinds of videos I just got better and better at it and really enjoyed it so yeah that's how I got into Animal Crossing I 
as you can see here, I'm just kind of playing around with where I want the blanket coats to go. You would not believe how long it took me to get the hang of layering blanket coats and making it look good. I sometimes will sit and do blanket coats for so long because, man, some people just get it that first time and it looks so good. And I'm always like, does that look good? I don't know. So <laughs> if you see me struggling, that's what, totally why. Um, and then again, just being really random with the leaf coats. I'm also really loving right now using this particular pathing path surrounding my um, blanket coats. You'll see me do this later in the video as well. Um, I just really like the way that looks with the blankets layered on top of the leaves. It just makes it look like the beaches are really overgrown under the blankets, which I really like. And the next question was, what made you create an Animal Crossing Instagram page and YouTube channel? I also got a few questions asking what kind of inspired me to start making videos and posting on Instagram. And I think I was just really happy with the island designs I was coming up with. I think for the earlier part of me playing the game, I was really using other creators as inspiration and kind of learning how to actually terraform and make buildings and decorate and finding my own style and so once I started feeling confident and proud of the builds I was doing I wanted to share them but I don't have a ton of like my close friends that play the game but I still really wanted to share them so I wanted to join like the animal crossing community and find people that would appreciate what I was doing and wouldn't be like oh that's cool <laughs> you know what I mean so I think for me it was kind of just about finding people that enjoyed the same content as me and then be feeling like I could share that and I feel like um, starting with YouTube kind of came from just enjoying long-form content and wanting like I don't know just videos that I specifically enjoyed that were edited the way I like and were builds that I like and in my style um, I don't know I just think I've always been a really creative person and I get really invested in hobbies very easily and so I've always wanted a YouTube channel and I just decided let's do it and I did and it's been so much fun. I love going back and watching like my builds and stuff and seeing things like that I want to change or that I'm really proud of and then seeing other people enjoy it and connecting with people with the game has really been fun so that's kind of what inspired me to do it. I just really saw how kind and welcoming and how nice everyone in the Animal Crossing community has been and I wanted to be a part of that. So I guess long story short, you guys did. You guys inspired me to join the Animal Crossing community and start making Instagram content and YouTube videos. Right now I'm just going through and tossing down wheat fields, weeds, um, some grass standees, which oh, I just love the ones in the fall colorway. Um, and I'm starting to just spread out items. We're also starting a little boat yard on the left hand side of the library. And I'm thinking about pushing this further back as time goes on, just because then you can kind of see it from the side windows of the library, which is kind of cool. I really have been wanting to include a boatyard build on one of my islands and I just figured it makes sense that the boats would just be on the beach right now because it's not summer. I don't know. I just think it comes together really cute and I'm glad we did that. Another question that I got was, where did I get the name Bugs? <laughs> and I feel like this is kind of funny. Um, so obviously my name is not actually Bugs. Um, it's just a nickname that I've always had since I was young. My mom, when I was a kid, called me Ladybug and other iterations of Bugs. Um, and it's just something that I've always liked. I think it's such a cute little nickname and not a lot of people actually call me that my fiance will call me that on rare occasion and for the most part just my mom and like my si my siblings will call me that um but I just thought it was cute and when I had my first island completely 
by myself it was a plant core island and I also just have like a fascination with bugs I think that they're really beautiful I don't like to be near them <laughs> to be completely fair um, like let's be so clear but I do think they're very beautiful and I have a bunch of bug tattoos and I don't know I just like them um, I like them so that's kind of where bugs came from and my like I was trying to say before I got distracted my first island that I did completely on my own was a plant core island and I named my resident rep bugs and it's just kind of stuck in all of my islands since I've been bugs and so when I made my Instagram and my YouTube channel I knew I wanted to go by bugs so that's where that comes from Now that we're starting to put down more wheat fields, I feel like we can segue into this question, which is what are my favorite items in game? And the wheat fields are definitely one of them. When the wheat fields became an item in the game, I was so excited because I was still working on my overgrown island and I just thought that they added so much, even though they're so simple. I also just love the way you can place them and how they fit on the half tile. Ugh, the Weefields are a goaded item in Animal Crossing and I appreciate whoever came up with that idea. Um, <laughs> some of my other favorite items in the game are the mush items. I think they are so, 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 so cute. I am so obsessed with them. Um, I just think that they add so much and because I'm more of like a planty, earth core, woodsy kind of person and that's kind of the themes I like to do um, I think that they just add so much to those kinds of builds and I have some themes in mind for the future that I cannot wait to continue using mush items it's kind of like hurt me a little bit to not really use those items on this island um, so yeah those are definitely probably my top items for the game I'm trying to think if there are any other ones that like stick out um, these aren't really items, but I do love the custom designs. I wish I was like good at that. And that was something that I could create myself. I am so impressed by creators that do custom designs and allow us to make our visions come to life. I think it's so amazing and takes so much talent that I wish I had. Um, <laughs> and I know that's not really an item, but I feel like custom design creators really just deserve such a huge shout out um if you make custom designs let me know down below and i will definitely check them out because i think they're amazing so starting to work on this boatyard i want to keep it again very overgrown and cluttered um mostly because i don't want you really to be able to walk around the boatyard it's more of like a visual um kind of thing and i'm also gonna kind of try to cut this side of the library off so we'll probably push this back a little bit as well to where that little side street is by the wheat um the wheat fields that we made a couple of uh, my last video actually um because i don't really want this side to be accessible
all right everyone we have finished this area i think it came out so stinking cute i'm obsessed i think that this area was something that i was a little nervous about just because i haven't really done something like this before where it's multiple picnic spots all together but i think it floats so nicely so very happy with it and now we're gonna head over oh hi ketchup she is so cute um we're now gonna head over to the kind of i don't know if i want to refer to it as an apartment building or like an inn i like the idea of it being like a little inn and then i can decorate the inside kind of like a bed and breakfast so i think i'm gonna go with the bed and breakfast now that i just said that out loud it just feels so much cuter so we're gonna be working on this little area and this one's gonna go by super quick we're just doing a sitting area um for the bed and breakfast and now we have to think of a name so if you think of a name idea put it in the comments below or should it just be bugs bed and breakfast bugs is bnb oh that's kind of cute anyway um the next question i got was how do you edit your thumbnails i edit all of my thumbnails in canva um i love canva i sponsor me please canva i love you um <laughs> yeah i just make them in canva there's some really awesome creators in canva as well um so i really just followed a template for a while and then just kind of started adding my own photos in it and then editing it down um into my theme and stuff like that and i just edit my photos a very specific way for my instagram and i use those in my thumbnails um they're really easy with Canva, I feel like it's super user friendly. Um, it's really easy to figure out. You just have to kind of practice and figure out again what your normal go-to style is gonna be. And then Canva is super user friendly, I think. Um, and I do have a pro Canva membership. So that is also very helpful because I have access to like all of the tools and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's how I edit my thumbnails. I'm just thinking about potentially doing different thumbnails for each island. Like each island has its own theme, so maybe each island will have its own thumbnail that matches the theme, I'm thinking. So because this is like a small town that I think of it as kind of like a tourist attraction type of town, um, that's why I did the postcards for my thumbnail. So I'm thinking about my next island and how I want that to come across. And I'm really excited. I'm filming the Honeywell tour and probably going to reset. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm saying that. Really, really soon. So I'm trying to figure out when I want to release that and if I want to release photos or just give you the dream address and give you the island tour and be done. Um, so we'll see. But that is in the works and I can't wait to start two new islands once we finish try and have so much content for you. So in the time that it took me to answer one question, we have basically finished the B&B &B area. Um, just adding small details is all that's left. Um, I'm, I'll eventually time travel for like the final beauty shots, but this is how it came out. Um, I kept it really simple, just the couches with some snacks and then a table where you can study and stuff like that. And then the bike rack, super simple, but also so cute. I'm really excited to decorate the interior for this. Um, and again, let me know if Bugs' is B&B is a good name. <laughs> and then as we come down um, this beach, we are going to just be doing a bonfire picnic kind of area on the other side where right now Lily, but eventually hopefully Fauna's house is. I know I mentioned that I wanted to do a drive-in or movie theater type of thing. But just with the amount of space that I have there, I don't think that's what's going to go there. I've actually kind of changed my mind and I think I want to do a pottery, like a, a pottery station on that beach. I don't know. I just feel like that's very fall activity. I don't know. But I think that's what we're going to do there. So that I don't know if I'm going to put that in a video or I'm just going to build it. We shall see. But I think that's a better idea and will just fit better. So that might be what we do. Uh, 
Um, another question that I got was, how do you use Treasure Islands? And my biggest advice for Treasure Islands is, really, you can just just you can just look them up on YouTube um, tutorials. Um, when I was first trying to get into Treasure Islands and I didn't really know what they were, I kind of just started looking it up. <laughs> really. Um, other creators like streamers that I watched I would just ask for advice on their streams and they would just tell me you know go on to like twitch basically and just search ACNH treasure islands and tons of them will come up that are live just make sure that if you are going to use a treasure island you're respectful of the um, streamers rules and stuff like that because not only is it just not very nice to the streamer who's going out of their way to create the treasure islands but it also if you don't follow the rules you kind of mess it up for other people and you make the islands lag and get people kicked off stuff like that so you know just read the, through the rules and be as respectful as possible um and use them to your advantage i don't have time you know to like wait to get all the items in game so treasure islands are amazing um i am subbed to a treasure island um, but they also have free islands and I use, I don't know if I should say the creator cause I don't know if, I don't know if Nintendo is going to find them. Just go on Twitch and you can find plenty, um, for free. And if you're not like constantly creating kind of like I am, don't pay for one. And if you're also a patient person, unlike me, don't pay for one. There are plenty, plenty, plenty of free islands. You just need to be patient and be respectful. Guys, that top blanket coat is so gorgeous. I didn't originally have this in my codes. Um, and then I saw it on Pinterest the other day and I screenshotted it so fast. It's so gorgeous and beautiful and amazing. And I'm obsessed. Obsessed, I tell you. The next question that I got was, what species would you add to the Animal Crossing New Horizons villager list? And I, since reading this question, have been thinking about it. And I just don't know because I can't say like my favorite animals, which are like whales and dogs, because one, we already have dogs in the game. And two, I just don't feel like they could make whales cute. You know, like I feel like they would do me dirty and I wouldn't think they're cute. So I really don't know. If you have an answer for this question and you've made it this far into the video, please let me know your answer because I'm so curious. I'm going to continue to think on this and hopefully something pops into my brain. Um, but as of right now, I really have no idea. I feel like a meerkat could be cute, but like how many iterations could you do and would it be terrifying? Because now that I've said it out loud and I'm thinking about it and picturing it, I'm scared, you know? <laughs> I don't know. Please, please, if you're watching this, please let me know down below because I have a feeling you're gonna give me a great answer and I'm gonna have an epiphany and it's gonna just be a huge moment for me. Another question I got was, who is your favorite villager and why? And my favorite villagers, the top two are tied with a very close third, fourth, honestly. Um, but my top two are Frogbert and Murphy. I just, one, I'm a sucker for the color green. Also, Spork is so cute. Look at him. Um, 
I just really love Murphy. I think he is just the cutest thing ever. Same with Frogbert. I really like the frog villagers. If they weren't a species already in game, that's what I would pick. I don't even like frogs in real life, but the frog villagers are so cute and so well done. I love them. Um, but those are my top two. And I think just because they're really cute and they're not like too cutesy. I like that they both have personalities and I like the dialogue that both of them have in game. Um, so yeah, those are my two favorites. Frogbert and Murphy are both on Honeywell and I just loved having them the whole time. Like I had Frogbert for most of the time I had that island and I was just beyond obsessed with him. And I just thought he was the cutest thing ever. And he was the first villager I ever became best friends with, <laughs> clearly. So he's definitely up there. And um, same with Murphy. I love them both so, 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 so much. They're so cute. And since we're getting close to the video, there is one more question that I did want to answer. Thank you all so much, by the way, for submitting questions. I hope we can do this again. It was so much fun. And thanks to my partners who also sent questions in when I really panicked and thought no one was going to submit. Love you so much. Um, but the question is, what are themes that you want to try in the future? And I really want to do a spring kid core island. Um, that's definitely on my to-do list. I also would love to do a Japanese inspired island. I went to Japan last May when I got engaged and it was just the most amazing trip ever. And I just feel like I would love to do a Japanese inspired island or like an anime type of island. I think that would be super cool as well. And I also saw someone do a Valentine's themed island and I just thought that was such a cool and unique idea that I would love to try as well. So I think those are my top three right now. Um, but who knows? There's so many amazing things. And I timed that beautifully. We are done with this build. I think it came out really, really cute. I was nervous because that bonfire is just so big. So I thought it was just going to take over and I really like how it came out. It looks like just an outdoor living space. And I really love it. I think it's so cute. Spork and Bee love it. All my villagers were up my butt when I filmed this. So I think that they like it, <laughs> which is so exciting. Um, so now that we have reached the end of the video, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. If you are still here, um, this video really helped kind of with my creativity and just making me feel a lot better about builds and stuff like that. I am so happy that I was able to do this and it was so fun answering your questions. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on my Instagram at Bugs Cozy and I will see you next Wednesday for a brand new video where hopefully we are wrapping up on chai. Bye guys!